hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel and as you know that we are doing american writers and their shortcut way to learn them yesterday i made a video and uh, you like the in that video so let's go through and check out some other writers so first writer for today is john stenback and his works are east of eden and the grapes of wrath so here is the shortcut. John Stenback was sitting in the east of Eden. Okay, Eden, you know, Eden Garden. So that's why I was just, uh, you can say I was picturizing Eden Garden and John Stenback is sitting here, over here. And eating grapes. So you can see, and he is eating grapes. Now let's come to the next one, Robert Frost. He's stopping by woods on a snowy evening and let me tell you that I am get uh, just nearby to get my thousand subscribers so please if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe I usually bring videos related to uh, English literature exams and you just see first uh, first paper I'm just trying to make a course so please be with me and help to grow my channel Thanks in advance. Now Robert Frost is stopping by wood on a snowy evening. So this is uh, quite simple to remember. I know uh, everybody knows this work. Sylvia Plath, Mirror and the Be Be Bel Jar. So Sylvia Plath had a mirror and in a mirror she had, you know, Bel Jar as you can see here. So here you can uh, see uh, here Sylvia Plath. And here is a mirror and a bell jar. You will just pictureize these things. If you can pictureize them well, you will never forget them. Next is William C. Douglas. A girl with a basket. Now, next one is Pablo Nerida. Pablo Nerida is keeping quiet. Pablo Nerida was keeping quiet. Pablo Nerida was keeping quiet. Because he came to know that William C. Douglas was a girl with a basket. Okay, so I remembered these two works with one sentence. Pablo Neruda was keeping quiet because he came to know that William, because he was surprised that William C. Douglas was a girl. Now, next one is Leo Tolstoy wanted war and peace together. So it is so amazing that he want he wanted uh, two things together, war and peace. So who was who wanted war and peace together? He was Leo Tolstoy. Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson heard, uh, said, okay. Emily Dickinson said, I heard a fly buzz when I died or when she died and my life closed twice before it closed. So who said her life closed twice before it closed? Emily Dickinson. And who heard fly buzz? Emily Dickinson. Now let's come to the other one. Here you have. James Fenimore Cooper wearing leather stocking tails. So he was wearing. So here we have leather hmm. stocking tails. So James Fenimore Cooper was wearing leather stocking tails. Next is Washington Irving. Washington Irving, Rippo and Winkle. So he ripped Washington's eyes, but he winked it. But still he winked with it. Okay, so you can see. The legend of Sleepy Hollow ripped Washington's eyes, but he still winked it. Because he winked it to that legend. Or you can say, okay. Here you had the legend of Sleepy Hollow. And here you have Washington A wing. And he winked for, to legend of Sleepy Hollow. So he ripped his eyes out. Okay, so you can remember in this way. Thomas Jefferson declared the Declaration of Independence. Okay, Thomas Jefferson declared the independence. So remember this work with this sentence. Thomas Paine, Thomas Paine had no common sense, so America had crisis. Because of Thomas, Thomas Paine had no, you can say, Thomas Paine had no common sense, so America had crisis. America had crisis because Thomas had 
Thomas Paine had no common sense. So who didn't have any common sense? Thomas Paine. Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Frank, Benjamin Franklin brought up Richard. Benjamin Franklin brought up Richard. Edward Digges loved ad adventures of Alan Shaw. Thoreau sings Walden, Walden, Walden. Thoreau sings Walden, Walden, Walden. I used to sing like this. And I remember, I never forget this work. Thoreau sings Walden, Walden, Walden. And uh, before that, it was too hard to remember that. Okay, Thoreau wrote Walden. Harriet Beecher Stowe hides Uncle Tom's cabin. So Harriet Beecher Stowe hides in Uncle Tom's cabin. So Uncle Tom's cabin, in Uncle Tom's cabin, who hides? Harriet, Harriet Beecher Stowe. Now here are a few. Mark Twain, Samuel Langhorne uh, is his uh, pen name. So Life on Mississippi. Mark Twain to see Life on Mississippi went on the adventure of, of Tom Sawyer he decides uh okay he decides an adventure of huckleberry finn too so he went on two adventures to see life on mississippi so mark twain you can see here life of mississippi and he wanted to do adventure he went with tom sawyer and huckleberry finn to uh see life on mississippi f scott fitzgerald f scott fitzgerald uh, Gatsby, this is the great Gatsby. E. M. Forrester passes to India. E. M. Forrester passes to India. Everybody knows these two words are easy to remember. So hopefully, uh, these are uh, the things which will help you in your exam. Here are a few more topics to cover in next series. So be with me. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care. See you in next video.